Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing really well. If this is your first time here, I'm Lindy Peters. On my channel, we talk about all things financial, budgeting, saving. I also do saving challenges from time to time, so check out for those. And I share my investment journey of stocks and shares with you guys as well. So today we are going to have a look at the different taxes that you are getting in the UK for the year of 2021 to 2022. So first off, we'll be having a look at stamp duty. Then we will be having a look at capital gains tax, the dividends tax and withholding tax. So first off, we'll be having a look at stamp duty. Now you pay 0.5% taxes on when you buy shares online. And if you buy it using a transfer form, you only pay stamp duty tax for transactions over a thousand pounds. And all taxes are taken at the point of sale. So next up, we'll be having a look at capital gains tax. Now, this is tax on the gains that you make. So this is the profits after you are selling your stocks and shares. Now, for the year of 2021 to 2022, our tax-free allowance is £12,300. So any amount over that is what we need to pay tax on. If you make less gains than 12300 you don't need to worry about paying tax on that gains for that specific year. Now, it depends on your basic income tax ban, how much tax you need to pay. Is it 10% or 20%? Now, if you would like to get around the fact of paying tax on your capital gains tax, because with the ISA account, you don't need to pay any capital gains on any gains made in your ISA account. Now, in an ISA account, you can invest £20,000 per year. Now, this is for the tax year of 2021 to 2022. So let's have a look at an example. Now, if your taxable income minus your personal allowance and your income tax relief is £20,000 and your taxable capital gains is 12600 and these gains are from your stocks and shares and not residential properties, you first need to deduct the capital gains tax-free allowance from your capital gains and this leaves you with £300 that needs to be taxed. Now, if you add this taxable income with your capital gains tax, this gives you 20300 which is less than 37500 for the tax ban. So this means you are in the lower rate and only need to pay 10% tax for the tax year of 2021 to 2022. So this means you only have to pay £30 in capital gains. So if you're getting value so far, please smash that like button so it turns blue and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. So having a look at dividend tax, your dividend tax allowance for the year of 2021 to 2022 is £2,000. Now, if your stocks and shares are in an ISA account, you don't need to pay any tax on your dividends allowance. But if not, you need to pay tax of a basic rate of 7.5, a higher rate of 32.5, an additional rate of 38.1. Now, those all depend on your income tax ban. Now, let's have a look at an example. Now, you get 3000 in dividends and earn 29,570 in wages in the tax year of 2021 to 2022. This gives you a total income of 32,570. Now your personal allowance is 12,570. You need to take this off your total income, leaving you with an income of 20,000 pounds. Now this is a basic tax rate band. So this means you pay 20% tax on your 17,000 in wages, no tax on your 2,000 of dividends because this is your tax-free allowance for your dividends, and then you pay 7.5% tax on your 1,000 pounds of dividends. So let's have a look at withholding tax. Now the general withholding tax is 20%, however it can fluctuate between 0% and 15%. Now, this is for all U.S. stocks, and this is taxed at the source. And unfortunately, there is nothing we can do about that. That is just one of those taxes that's set in stone. Now, I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to give me a call to discuss any of the topics in my videos. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. 
and make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. If you've got any topic requests or any questions for me, please comment below and I'll get back to you personally. Have a lovely day guys. Bye.